and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the tube. Hope you're today, hope you're grand, and always born in your world. Hello there, everybody. Uh, today's video, everybody, I want to talk about how I use uh, my fuzz pedal uh, on my pedal board here. So, um, I only have one pedal board now. I got kind of sick of kind of like having two different pedal boards, one for YouTube, one for live. So, I've kind of consolidated it all into one board, which is here. Uh, the looper's now off the board as well, because technically I, I don't need a looper live, so it, it might as well live off the board and not take up real estate on here. So anyway, uh, but it's not about that today, people tube, it's all about Mr. Fuzz here. So the main fuzz I've used for forever and a day since 2008 is the Electro Harmonics Double Muff. And this is, this is uh, tied as my favourite fuzz pedal of all time with the Hubcap John Sundial Fuzz. Um, the sundial, I kind of go between the two, but I always end up coming back to the double muff for this kind of, for, for what I need it for. I do love the sundial, but I always come back to the double muff. Uh, but they're definitely, you know, the, the, the sundial and this are still my favourite fuzzies of all time. They just can't be beat, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, for, for me, anyway, let's put it that way. So, anyway, I tried, I first tried this, the double muff in 2008 when I was in London, um, my housemate at the time, who's the bassist for the, uh, vaccines now, uh, he lent me his, uh, he says, I'll oh, try this out, see what you reckon to it, and I immediately fell in love with it, and I fell in love with the fact of, when I combined it with my Marshall Governor, uh, I could, on my volume control of my Strat or Les Paul or whatever guitar I was playing, I could go from clean sparkly cleans uh, to overdrive to distortion to full out fuzz and i love the fact i could do that with just the volume control and it opened up a new world to me because i'd use my volume control a lot but never greatly until that point you know I, I i didn't really mess around too much with it but i was using it nonetheless but this opened up a new world for me and i immediately fell in love with it and this way of running fuzz to you know leaving a fuzz pedal on all the time and riding your volume control is not uncommon you know Jimi hendrix did it you know um and a lot of people do do this still now um but what they'll tend to do is run it over an overdriven signal i run it with a distorted signal a massively distorted signal as well the governor is cranked you know there is no kind of like further gain on this thing it's wound up to the teeth you know uh, and what I do is I run the governor flat out and I run the double muff really, really low. So basically this isn't really giving me much, but it's giving me just enough, if that makes sense. On its own, this sounds nothing -y. It sounds like nothing's happening. But when I combine it with the governor, all of a sudden the world opens up. And in the intro jam, that's what I was using. I was riding the volume control of the East Coast. And using these two pedals. Uh, I also have my delay modeler on as well. Um, but I was riding the volume control of... Uh, which uh, which get these two pedals give me the option of doing it. And it gives me all sorts of different sounds. Which I loved. All sorts of different overdrive sounds. And distortion sounds. And full out fuzz. Um, and what I love about the double morph. Uh, and what it gives me that the, the, the Hubcap John uh, Sundial fuzz doesn't give me. Is this is more of a kind of like uh, a fuzz overdrive, if you will. It's got it's got more of um, it's got a little bit more clarity to it than just a straight out fuzz. Um, it's got a little bit more. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The only word I can think of at this point in time, like I said, is just clarity. But there is another word I'm looking for, but I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank there, people. Tube, but I love it nonetheless. So what? So let me show you quickly. And I'm going to have to turn my amp down here because I don't want to kill the camera. Um... <coughs> so let me show you quickly what the fuzz pedal sounds like on its own. So this is just, uh... that's just the amp. <laughs> Guitar slightly out of tune, that's good. Back in a sec. Okay, boo you. Yay! Uh, by the way, the guitar's in E flat as well. If anybody's going, that sounds a bit strange. Still, uh, the guitar's actually in E flat. Anyway, um, so that's the clean signal. This is the fuzz on top of that, and it, you can hear it's immediately quieter than the actual clean signal, and it's not really giving me anything. You know, there's literally nothing there. Mm -hmm. 
It sounds like, um, it sounds broken, to be honest with you. <laughs> the tone itself is actually quite cool, but it's a bit kind of nothing key. And again, super, super low. And there's not really a great deal of fuzz either. But now, if I combine it with the governor, all of a sudden, uh, I get all sorts. So if I go to the neck pickup and put my volume at one, all of a sudden I've got like a clean tone. So you can hear kind of like as it's infinitely better. And again, if I go back, turn the governor off, this is the double muff on its own. Meh, nothing really going on there. Turn on the governor, volume in a bit. Same on the bridge. And it's my kind of clean tone, because it's that kind of dirty clean John Frusciante kind of thing, which I'm very, very in love with forever so anyway uh, and again if i just roll the volume up a bit more i get kind of like you know i can go from this kind of clean tone if i put it to about four i start to get a bit more overdriven <laughs> Volume on four, volume on six, get a bit more as well. We're getting into distortion territory now. Get a light distortion. So we've had like clean overdrive, now we're getting distortion. Put the volume up at eight, we're getting even heavier distortion. <laughs> volume at nine is pretty much all the distortion. And then when I stick the volume on 10, it goes into fuzzy territory. So it goes from having all this kind of clean kind of clarity of overdrive and distortion to really, really dark. So if I put the volume back to eight and then roll it to 10, you'll hear it get really dark and fuzzy. So this is eight. Going up to 10. roll the volume down you get a little clarity back so um like i say it's not uncommon to run a fuzz pedal this way you know have it on all the time use the volume control but i don't what i do find weird is the fact i run it with distortion because like i say a lot of people would tend to run it with kind of like a an overdrive but this is my bass tone this is the governor so <laughs> Which, on its own, is enough distortion to kill a donkey at 80 yards, you know what I mean? So there's a lot of gain coming from this. That's why I dialed down the double muff, and it still gives me that really cool uh, clean tone. And again, it's really nice for playing bluesy stuff. So you get those kind of like Peter Greeny kind of clean tones, but then crank the volume up, you can get it to sing. down again.
And this is, so, I'll say, this is something I've done now since 2008. And this has become like, uh, I have tried other pedals in this place. I, 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 um, I've still got like a, a Dan Electro Cool Cat Fuzz. Um, I've tried, obviously, you know, some other fuzzes in this place. But I always come back to the Electro One Double Muff. This is literally, I can't be without this pedal. I just can't. It's like the Governor, the Golden Plexi, the Voxwa, the DS2, you know, the Mel, the Zoom. All this board I can't be without, really. I mean, it's my happy place. But doing this gives me so much opportunity and versatility uh, to um, to play around and be a bit more expressive with things. And uh, when we play live in the trio, I use this setting not a lot, but I use it a, a, a fair bit. I tend to use it for kind of like when we do slow blues stuff. Or, or bits and pieces here and there. Because I've got certain combinations of pedals for certain songs and whatnot. But uh, like I say, it's not uncommon to do this. But I, I, but I, I don't really know many guitarists who combine a fuzz with a massive distortion pedal. But like I say, most of the time I've seen people do it, they mostly combine it with uh, an overdrive. Or kind of like, you know, a semi-broken up amp kind of sound. Like, like the Golden Plexi, where it's like that. <laughs> And then what they do is they crank the fuzz up. I've basically gone the other way around and basically crank the distortion up and turn down the fuzz. Um, so at this point in time, let you let you know what's going on with the double muff. So I have uh, on the double muff, you have a setting here. It's like a little switch across it. And when you're on the when the switch is to the left side, it's just one fuzz circuit. When you put it to the right, it's two. Um, and there's a bumblebee in the room with me. Hi, Mr. B. What are you doing in here? How did you even get in here? Anyway, uh, oh no, that's not a bee. That's a wasp. And a very big wasp. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, David Poopertube, we are back in the room. Wasp crisis avoided. I thought it was a bee for a minute and I didn't really bother, but then I realised it was a massive, it was like a queen wasp and I didn't want to get it aggravated at me and come at me and sting me in the face. Anyway, let it out. All is well. Back to the vid. So yeah, um, so I say that's how I run fuzz, and like I say, I I do I've used this setup for ages, and I just love it. And I always come back to the double muff because I always find it's the one that does this the way I want it to. Uh, I obviously love the sundial fuzz as well by Hubcap John, but but that does uh, one thing, whereas this does another. Uh, and I always come back to this one. Oh, by the way, people tube, it's taped over because I always kick the dials. Uh, with my foot, so it's taped over to stop that from happening. But I'll let you know how it's set up as well. So I've, uh, that's what I was saying, wasn't it, before? So um, the left dial is set at nine o'clock, and the right dial is set at twelve o'clock, and that's it. So really, really low, you know. And again, the governor is basically making it umphy, making it bigger, and this is basically giving me the ability to ride the volume control. Um, I just love it. It sounds amazing. Absolutely amazing. So uh, what I'm going to do now, people choose, I'm going to plug in a Strat, because you've heard it with the humbuckers, and it works really nicely. Uh, I'm going to plug in a Strat and let you hear it with single coils as well, um, because it really does give you those awesome kind of glassy Strat, dirty, cleanish tones, and then it gives you kind of that really kind of awesome Strat break up and then into kind of like Jimi Hendrix territory. And whenever we play Jimmy stuff in the trio, or Jimmy-esque kind of stuff in the trio, I always use this combination. And when, when I did a, um, I did, for a very brief period of time, did a Jimi Hendrix tribute band, which which went nowhere, sadly. Uh, we won't get, we couldn't get booked anywhere. Um, when we when we did that, I basically just had the Governor, the Double Moth, Vox Wah, Roto Vibe, and a Zoom pedal, and that was it. I didn't have anything else, just kind of emulate what Jimmy had. Um... So yeah, so let me um, let me let me move the camera. Let me plug in a strat. Let you let you hear this thing with a strat, and let you hear what what on the volume control what it's like, and also show you as well, YouTube, what this sounds like just through the fifty seven uh, on its own beforehand as well. So you hear this on its own, then I'll engage the governor with it, and let you hear kind of like the range I've got on the volume control through the actual uh, cab mic instead of the room mic. So let's do that.
Okay, Poochoo, there you go. Uh, that's how I run my fuzz pedal, basically, on my uh, main board. Like I say, it's a bit of a... Um, I don't want to say it's completely weird, because it isn't. What I'm doing, like, the whole technique of, like, leaving a fuzz on all the time and just riding the volume control isn't kind of, like, unfounded. is isn't, like, groundbreaking. Nothing I do is groundbreaking, because it's all been done before, you know. We stand on the shoulders of people who have done all this stuff. But... Uh, I don't really know of anyone who runs a fuzz with a mass distortion pedal and then turns the fuzz all the way down. But that again, this, this is just something I found that works for me, uh, and I want to do a video on it because I, I, I want to, you know, uh, I want you to kind of go away and, and try this out for you and see what you reckon to it. See if you like it. See uh, see if you like it. You know what I mean? Um, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, go away, try it. See what you reckon, and let me know in the comment section below what you think to running a fuzz pedal really low and then uh, sticking it over a mass distortion pedal, basically. And it works vamps as well. You can kind of, like, dime your amp out, run, like, a fuzz pedal kind of like that, and then use it kind of attenuate it, and just use that then as, um, you know, a uh, thing to ride, ride volume control. And also, it saves the issue of having to, like, install treble bleed into the guitar. Treble bleeds are cool, 
but there are ways around kind of getting that. And, and I always think like a fuzz pedal is a good way around of actually um, negating the need to actually install a treble booster, a, tre a treble uh, thing, bleed, sorry, into your actual guitar to actually get those kind of like clean tones. You can actually just use pedals to, to do the same deal, really. So, uh, anyway, Pooja, I hope this was somewhat informative. I hope it's kind of, like, gave some kind of, like, food for thought on kind of, like, different ways to run a fuzz as well. Like I say, uh, invariably, what I do with fuzz pedals is I just crank them to 10. But uh, this pedal doesn't really work for that kind of thing. I don't really particularly like the sound of a double muff when it's wound to 10. But when it's run like that with the governor, this is like a match made in heaven. You know, these two pedals should be married. Well, they technically are on my board. Um... It's ridiculous. They're just so perfect together. They work so well. Uh, and I have tried to do more with different distortions. And they, it works as, It works really well as well. But I, for me, personally, the governor and the double muff are just, like, supposed to be together. You know, uh, when when the trio covers, like, say, Voodoo Child or All in the Watchtower or anything Jimi Hendrix, Foxy Lady, uh, I always use this combination. Um, I, I tend to use this combination as well when the trio plays slow blues songs as well. Because I like to be able to get the like the expressiveness from whisper to a scream on a guitar on the guitar volume without having to kind of like mess around with pedals, so to say. Um, and also some and other places here and there. It's kind of not set in stone when I use it. It's just kind of like how and when I feel, so to say. Uh, but I do love it, and I love having the ability to do that on this board. Um, a little wing is another uh, place where I use this combination. When we, well, it's mainly Jimi Hendrix stuff, really. To be honest with you. Uh, and more of the trio is kind of slow stuff. But um, Little Wing gives me the ability to actually leave my board. I don't have to, like, I can turn these two pedals on and leave it. I don't have to mess around with anything then. I can do it all from the guitar. So I can be like, you know, I'm most of the venues I can't get 60 miles away. But I can be miles away from my pedal board with, that, with these two pedals on and do everything I need to do from the guitar. So I can get, like, you know, real kind of, like, big screamy guitar solos to really, really quiet, delicate, clean tones. And that's really important for me. Um, I need to be able to do that. And I like to be able to kind of get away from a ball a few times. It's nice to be able to kind of like not be tied down to it, so to say, and be able to just do everything from volume. So anyway, uh, like I say, people Tube, I uh, I would recommend going and trying this. If you've got a fuzz pedal and a distortion pedal, go and give it a go. Just see what you reckon. Uh, run the fuzz low, run the distortion high. And kind of mess around with volume control. Unfortunately, not all fuzz pedals will do the clean thing. But uh, most of them will, uh, in my experience. And and also, different fuzzes will give you different um, voices. Uh, I used to, I used to, I did use for a while the Dan Electro Cool Cat Fuzz. Which actually in France, with my friend Marjorie Nicole at this point in time. Um, it's sunning itself. Um, that pedal I used for a, a, a very brief but long period of time it was probably about six seven months i used it on this on uh, with this combination and that gave me a really dark fuzz when i had that cranked to the teeth it gave me a really dark fuzz tone uh it didn't give me as much clarity as the double muff does though that and that's what i was kind of missing and that's what uh certain fuzz pedals don't quite give me is that clarity when you turn the fuzz all the way up you still kind of retain that and when it's down it's kind of like really glassy still um, most full spells still give you the glassy thing, but when it's all the way up, it kind of loses definition a bit, and they kind of go into a woolly territory, uh, and it doesn't really work so well. But the double muff has always been my favourite. And funny enough, I think the nanos sound better than the big ones, because I did have a big double muff, but I sold it because the nano was way better. It sounded better. I don't know why it just did. Maybe it been me being neurotic. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, Paper Tube, let me know. Um... What you what you think to this setup? Go away and give it a go, and come back and let me know, because I'm very curious to uh, to hear your thoughts on this as well. And also, people, do, does anybody else know? Because there's got to be somebody. There's got to be somebody. I'm not like Mr. Unique here, but is there anybody you know who runs a, a fuzz pedal really, really low uh, with a high gain distortion pedal? Yeah, is there anybody? Let me know in the comments section below. Because I really want to know. Uh, I'm really curious. Because I say I've done this since 2008. Um, and it's something I, I, I just love having the option for. You know, I really do love having the option on this. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, may, it does make the amp hiss a bit. But I don't know if you can hear that. But the thing is, once you're in a noisy pub or a noisy venue, that, you can't hear that. You know, that just disappears, basically. There is no, you know, you can hear it in a quiet room like this, but it's just me. But once you get into a noisy, uh, noisy venue, 
you can't hear that. It's it's impossible to hear it. So anyway, uh, Peter Jew, let me know. What, uh, let me know what you think to this, self. Uh, and again, let me know if you try it, what you thought to it, because I'd love to know. Um, so anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the vid, Pooh Tube. Uh, if you like this video and like what I do on this channel, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon. Really helps me out. It's basically the thing that's keeping this channel going. Uh, without Patreon, this channel wouldn't exist. So anybody who's a patron, patron at Patreon, thank you so much. Your support is literally everything to me right now. I am so grateful. It Words don't even come close to describing how grateful I am. So thank you so much indeed. Um, yeah, as I say, the link for that is in the description box below, as well as links to my uh, band camp where you can find music from me and my band, uh, the trio, and also uh, there's a link to my merch store as well, which is just, it's just got, I can't seem to get anything else on it because Teespring won't let me, it's a nightmare. I don't know, I'll keep trying. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching YouTube, I'll see you again, um, yeah, have a great morning, afternoon, good evening, and uh, goodbye now, thank you for